not be hasty. It will ruin your dua. The Prophet gave us an example of that. In an important hadith, he said, the dua of any worshiper will continue to be responded to as long as he does not ask for a sin or breaking the ties of kinship and as long as he is not hasty. It was asked, O Messenger of Allah, and what does it mean to be hasty? He responded, A worshiper says, I have prayed and prayed and I don't see that it will be accepted. So he gives up hope of being answered and leaves dua. Did you see how this worshiper ruined his dua by being hasty? The Prophet started this hadith by saying that the dua of any worshiper will be answered under the conditions mentioned in the hadith. And one of those conditions was not being hasty. So don't make this mistake many make and contemplate these wise words of the great scholar Imam Ibn Qayyim who said, And of the diseases that afflict dua and prevent its response is that a person is hasty in expecting a response and the response is delayed so he gives up hope and leaves dua. His example is like that of a person who planted a seed or a seedling then guarded it and took care of it and watered it but when it delayed in giving its fruit and reaching perfection he left it and did not take care for it anymore. So your dua is like a seed that you must continuously take care of so that one beautiful day Allah allows that seed to turn into a great tree bearing fruits that you will enjoy in this world and the next.